So this will be Prince Andrew's 41 point denial. That's a lot of denial uh, regarding the Virginia Roberts Giffrey case and uh, Ghislaine Maxwell isn't his friend anymore. So I don't know. I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, come on, you can do it. Just subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So Prince Andrew, I mean, 41 separate points of denial. I mean, that just is a lot of thinking or a lot of lawyers. And I hope he got lots of money for that uh, Swiss chalet that he's trying to unload. And then um, also, and he's completely disavowed uh, Ghislaine Maxwell. So this will be interesting. Okay, so this is the Connolly Tarot by Peter Paul Conn Connolly and Eileen Connolly. And this is, this is actually a son and a mother who did these cards, but these are very nice cards to use. I love them a lot. And uh, so the Connollys, um, as a matter of fact, the mother's a PhD and is into parapsychology and all sort of things, uh, spiritual. Um, and then, so she kind of conceived of this thing. Then she got her son, uh, who was born in 1964, but I guess by then he was a teenager, but she got him to design the cards and uh, he's an artist today. So that's Peter Paul Collins. So, so these are pretty interesting cards. I love them. Let me show you how they look. They've just got so much color in them. Apparently he uh, sketched these out with colored pencils uh, before they became finished works of art. And I guess they're hanging in galleries somewhere on the West Coast, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. So these are beautiful. I love these cards. I mean, they're everything. Uh, you want to see in a typical easy to read uh, tarot card. Now put them out like this so that you can take a look at them too. You know, everybody likes to see something different and uh, maybe you haven't seen these cards laid out like that before. But um, that's those folks, the Connollys. Okay, so this is going to be for Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew, he denies everything. Okay, never happened. I had a, a good look at the, uh, the PDF of the document that he sent back to the judge, and it's clearly all in um, lawyer speak. Oh no, do you know what I've just done? Uh, okay, we're going to take a minute to fix this. But it's clearly all in lawyer speak, um, replying back to the original uh, complaint uh, by referencing not the question, but by referencing a uh, paragraph so-and-so, line this and that of the original, original complaint. I mean, it's all in lawyer, uh, lawyer ease. But everything is a, a complete denial. So it's clear that the intention is uh, to take the Trump approach and just uh, fight this with all the money that you have and hope that you can outfast Virginia Roberts Giffrey, uh, money-wise, which I presume that you can. So, Prince Andrew, Prince Andrew, what about, number one, I've got three questions, um, three cards for Prince Andrew um, and demanding the jury. I think the question is going to be is will he win in front of a jury? Will Prince Andrew win in front of a jury? Is that the best thing for him to do? And now my phone is trying to talk to me, so that's not good. Okay, but first, let's do this, just for a minute. Okay. All right, Prince Andrew, here we go. Very fumble finger today. This will be three cards on the jury. Is that the best way for him to go? One, two, three. Apparently the lawyers think so. So, 
first card. Oh yeah, these are celebrations. These are the three of cups. So these the cups refer to emotions and, and passions. And so um, yeah, I guess this is going to be the right uh, the right uh, emotional avenue for this to take place in. The next card then ah is the two of pentacles. And so pentacles are value or sometimes money. As a matter of fact, in this case, maybe particularly. And this is finding a balance between those two. It may be that there is a price that she has. Uh, the last card in this is the Nine of Cups, and the Nine of Cups is, um, you know, hopes fulfilled. So, uh, and it's called the Greedy Merchant, and this fellow, yeah, the Cups are very emotional. This fellow is very happy to display all of the compassion that he has. So, I think that, uh, yeah, the jury trial, uh, he's feeling like this is his best bet uh, to convince people on an emotional level. I think he's really wrong, but that's how Prince Andrew feels. Now, the next question is going to be three cards. So, what is this about that Ghislaine Maxwell is not... A close friend. Is that, who is a close friend of uh, Prince Andrew? I'm not sure. I mean, probably, maybe the Brits do know, but of course, uh, I don't know. So, Ghislaine Maxwell, is that a lie that she's not a close friend? Three cards. One, two, and three. Ghislaine Maxwell. Is that a lie? She's not a close friend? First card. Page of Swords. So the page is the weakest of the court cards. He brings a message to the court. Uh, swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. So uh, when he says she's not a close friend, it looks like there might be a little bit of truth in that statement. Because I think um, close friend is a pretty well-defined uh, person in his uh, sphere. He may have a lot of acquaintances or a lot of people he calls friends. But close friend? Uh, the next card in that is, oh yeah, this is the pinnacle's value worth wondering, did I do enough? Has he distanced himself enough uh, from uh, that description? And then the last card with the Knight of Wands. So the Knight is the fighter, oh yeah, the, the fighter of, of the royal court. He's going to take this plan that they've got, and he's going to give it everything he's got to make it come true. So, yep. He uh, is, as, that's his story, and he's sticking to it. She's not a close friend. Who is a close friend? And then the last one, six or maybe ten cards on the 41-point denial of Virginia Roberts Giffrey's sex scandal a suit against him. So probably six cards will do it. What can the cards tell us about that suit or how it's going to come out? Just let's see what story <coughs> the cards come up with. Good old soda from you know where. Okay, six cards. One, two... Three, four, five, and six right there. Let's see. The 41 point denial. What can you tell us about that? First card, okay, the star. The star is hope. The star is, is um, a very positive card. This is a yes card, and this is telling us that, yeah, this can uh, this can go your way. 41 point denial. The challenge to that then is uh, the four <laughs> of swords and the four of swords is uh, swords is being truth, justice, rules and law and the four being low in the in the in the suit and telling you, you know what, take a break. This fellow has taken his stopped before he's passed through that gate because he sees the warning of these four swords. So yeah, the um, it's promising, but you know this needs to take its time. The base of this, okay, is the Three of Swords. Again, truth, justice, rules, law. Three of Swords is a broken heart. This is a really uh, emotional turmoil. I mean, really. And that's what all this whole thing is, after all. To pass this reading, okay, again, we get that Two of Pentacles. I love when the cards keep playing the game. They figure I've learned what they mean to say. And the Two of Pentacles, anyway, is always just a value, finding the right balance between those two. I think there's going to be a financial settlement. And the sky of this reading um, is strength, Hmm, very interesting. So we're talking about the strength of, of Eugene Roberts, Roberts Giffrey, but I think more so because this is focused on Andrew. We're talking about him and the likely outcome with this Queen of Cups. It's going to be some level, uh, a high level, as a matter of fact, of um, compassion for him. That's uh, interesting. I'm going to do the next four cards. Uh, so just to tell us more about that 41-point um, denial. So the actual self of that question, uh, the emperor, okay, he really feels like he's on top of this thing. It's in the environment of, ah, so the seven of swords is uh, a theft and betrayal, lies, swords being truth, justice, rules, and law. But we can see that uh, this card uh, is telling us, you know, be careful 
of that. That's the environment that this power is in. The hopes and the fears. Ah, Ace of Cups. Yeah, that's what he's hoping for. He's hoping to get the, somehow the, I wonder why he thinks he's going to be able to get the emotional uh, balance in that. And then the likely outcome, he's so self-possessed perhaps. With this nine of coin is very fruitful, very, uh, a lot of value coming out of this. I mean, it may be that this is in fact his best way to go. I just think in the end, he's going to get caught with his pants down in a way that we can't believe. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.